morning, Lifestyle Leopards. It's actually Sunday, and I'm making this video for you guys over the weekend. And I've been thinking a lot about um, highs and lows. And so we talk a lot about the green zone and how you sometimes can pendulum through the zones and eventually you want to get back to green, which is a position of... Um, equilibrium. That's a big word. We might have mentioned that in one of my other videos. Um, a state of balance where you feel um, comfortable and it doesn't mean you have to be over the top excited or really, really happy. It just means you're calm and comfortable. And um, I think that um, that's a state of being that we all try to be in all the time. And it's natural in this world that there are going to be things and experiences that you have in your life that bring you outside of that state of equilibrium. And for us kids, that might look like coming outside of our green zone. And so all this transition um, for me and my house has really been about tuning in and listening to um, what you know things are going on for my son and and noticing what's been going on in myself as well and so for me as a parent I notice um, the nature of trying to balance work while I'm also trying to balance the needs of my son and his attention and what he needs to do for his growth and wellness and as a kiddo he is balancing um, a completely different schedule than we're used to he is dealing with um, expectations in a home environment that are much different than what is expected when we are at school. And he's also dealing with mom having a little bit less patience because she's juggling a lot of different activities. Hey, you want to say hi to my friends real quick? What I found, though. Oh, what did you find? Oh, my goodness. We found a cricket? Yep. And a centipede? I don't know what that is. Here, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions, Raphael. My friends are on this video, so they're watching you. Hey, what's been something you've liked about being home all this extra time? I just told you. Can you tell me again? Working out with my dad. And what else? One other thing. Staying with you. Having extra time with mom and dad? No, staying with you. Staying with me, okay. And what has been something that you've missed about school? I think it's crawling everywhere on my hands. Hey, Mommy's doing a video. What have you been missing about school? Mm, nothing much. What about your friends? I've been missing my friends. You've been missing your friends? Do you yep. think you've been doing a pretty good job of staying positive with all the different changes we've been having? Can crickets jump? I think they can jump a little bit, yeah. Have you been doing a good job staying positive with all the changes we've had? Whoa! Uh -oh. Raphael. What? Okay, so guest appearance is over. So that's an example of us being flexible thinkers. He's actually been doing a great job with staying flexible and positive um, and making the most. And I think the most difficult part for him is understanding that mom has to work even though we're just home hanging out. Um yeah. So for us, it's really about bringing it back to a position of acceptance and non-judgment and um, just trying to find that, that grace, that place where we can hover in um, just accepting our feelings and not thinking that we should be somewhere different. Um, and the other thing that I like to do is to try to really find um, the things that will fill my cup. And I had this wonderful, um, predecessor who was sort of a mentor figure for me through grad school. And, um, specifically as someone who works in the field of caregiving, she would talk to us a lot about making sure that we're not giving without having a full cup. And she read us this beautiful story, um, about this teacup and the teacup sits on a little tiny saucer 
and you're really only in a position to give when your teacup is running over into your saucer. And I think that this is a time that really taxes that metaphor um, where we still need to give even when we're totally empty. And so for me, it's been about finding the times and the places during my day, during my week, during my evening, um, where I can fill my own cup. Um, and that might look like turning the news off, watching a comedy. It might look like taking an extra long hot shower, going for a walk, getting that sun, taking a break, um, and really making sure that I'm filling my mind and my heart with positive affirmations of both acceptance and forward thinking, um, where I can stay in a position to be my best giving self for all the demands that are being put on us right now as a community, as our family, um, as professionals and, um, just to try to stay positive in that momentum. And for some of us, that might not just be a thought or an affirmation. It might need to actually take a form of action. And so, um, you know, for me and my wellness, that often looks like what I'm putting into my body, whether it's through media or television, um, the words that I read, um, the foods that I eat, the exercise that I do or don't get, the sleep that I do or don't get. And, um, you know, just trying to make really wise choices around all those areas of my life that enabled, uh, enable me to continue to be my best self. And um, with that, I'm wanting to just wish you guys all a wonderful Sunday. And I'll be in touch with you again soon this week. All right. Take care. Peace.